Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. You guys have been asking for this video, so I'm gonna knock it out quick today for us. 22 mag and boo lock droppages. So I sight in all my bing bangs at 100 yards. Well, what if you take it out to 200 and 300 and even further, what happens? How much is it gonna drop? How much will you need to hold over? How much would you need to dial your scope? Today we're doing the 22 mag or 22 WMR, like I said, Tons of you guys have been requesting it ever since I did the 22 long rifle and the 17 HMR. Well, this is another rimfire we're going to check out. What we're going to do first, we're going to take it out to the range, verify our 100 yard zero. This is my Savage Model 93, real affordable Barska soap scope on it, 3 by 9 by 32 nothing expensive. But I previously sighted it in with some Norma uh, WMR 40 grainers. Um, so I'm going to test, just check the 100 yard zero with that normal stuff. Then we're going to go out to 200 and I'm going to do a 10 shot group of that Norma stuff. I'll pop up the pictures and then some CCI Maxi Mag hollow points. And then some of this old Winchester Dyna point, which is 45 grain. But the first two are going to be 40 grainers. Then we'll do a 45 grainer. Just see in real life, what's the drop? from 100 yards to 200 yards with the 22 mag. Pretty basic setup, no crazy long barrel on here or anything, Savage Model 93. I think it's gonna be a lot, uh, like like that much a lot at 200 yards, but, oh, my light just went out. <laughs> uh, battery died. Anyways, we're gonna go out to 200, see the drop from 100 to 200, I think it's gonna be a whole lot. Um, and then I'll do a quick drop chart with the CCI because I already looked it up and I, they have a published ballistic coefficient so I can use that number. Uh, but let's hit the range, verify the 100 yard zero, and then do a 10 shot group with these three different 22 mag blue lots. Should be pretty cool, check it out. Three at 100 with the normals. So, what did we do out there at the range? Where's my paper plate here? Here's my 100 yard paper plate. So, we were still pretty close at 100, actually just a little bit to the right, but I didn't touch the scope. Pretty close at 100 nonetheless. Then, here's my target here. Very interesting results with the 22 mag. Not exactly what you might expect. Um, with those Norma 40 grainers, I was aiming up here and the group is way down here. And then with the CCI Maxi Mag hollow points, I was aiming up here and the group was down here. So you can see the Normas drifted right and dropped considerably more than the CCI's, almost twice as much drop, which is interesting because the uh, published uh, velocity is almost exactly the same. 
And then the uh, Winchesters, which are heavier, didn't even hit the paper, have no idea <laughs> where they even hit. Probably much shorter than the target. I'm gonna mark down the average of these groups. The Normans did group better though, I'll make that point. So the Normans dropped a lot more, but they made a better group at 200 yards than the CCIs. But let me measure the drop here. Make a big dot in the average. Uh, gonna write down the drop and then we'll do the, the drop chart and see uh, if our drop chart is anything close to what happened in real life. So let me measure the CCIs. CCIs, an average 8.75 inch drop. And this marker is running out of juice here. And then the Normas dropped 17 and a half inches on average. Which is crazy. But that's why we do these videos because, hey, that's real life, not just something somebody wrote on a piece of paper. So let me show you again. There's a CCIs in the drop. 8.75 inch average drop and then the Normas over twice as much drop with a 17.5 inch but it did group a little bit better but hey that's the real world results now uh, I told you CCI publishes the ballistic coefficient for these maxi mags uh, which only dropped 8.75 at 200 yards remember that because we're about to look at the chart let me do a boo light drop chart with this stuff all the way out to a thousand yards just so we can see the holdovers and the numbers and see if it matches up exactly what happened in real life. I don't know. All right, now I told you I was gonna do a drop chart here quick. And this is with the CCI MaxiMag hollow points. They do publish a ballistic coefficient. You can see it there, 114. Bullet weight, 40 grain. Initial mu muzzle velocity, 1875 feet per second. And you can see here on the drop chart, zeroed at 100 yards and at 200 yards this drop chart is saying that this cci should drop 18.9 inches that is not what we saw in reality in reality it was like just under nine inches and it was the norma ammo that actually dropped close to 18 inches but that's why we did the real life test because if we just assumed this paper was right then we would be way off but hey here's what it is this is the drop chart and interestingly enough it goes beneath the sound barrier between 100 and 200 yards so that's pretty wild this stuff is slowing very very fast the 22 mag so but on paper this drop chart is saying that between 100 yards and 200 yards it should have a 19 inch drop going out to 300 it's dropping off a cliff at 71 inches, 500 yards, it's dropping 329 inches, and then 1,000, 2,671 inches, whatever that is. I don't even know how many feet that is. It's a lot. But there's your drop chart for that 22 mag, uh, maxi mag hollow points. Definitely uh, not exactly a long range precision round there. But there you have it, guys. There's my 22 mag. Pretty basic, affordable setup. My Savage 93 and that cheaper Barsca scope there. Appreciate y'all watching. Thanks for requesting the videos. That's how we get a ton of our ideas. Make sure you're subscribed for more videos like this. Comment down below. Tell me what you think about 22 mag. Do you have one? Have you ever done better than this at 200 yards or had similar results or completely different results at 200 yards? I'm always interested to see what you guys have experienced and what you got to say. But appreciate y'all watching. 22 mag drop. We'll see y'all in the next one. Hootie hoo. Oh.